Unfortunately, there is no magic bullet or magic pill in the field of nutrition. However, if there's something that comes close to it, it's dietary fiber. Dietary fiber is a substance that's found in plant foods that can help with many different things in our body. It's been shown scientifically to help with our digestive system and help keep things moving through. It can help prevent certain types of cancer. It can help also with diabetes and controlling blood sugars. It can help with weight, weight regulation and weight maintenance. It can also help with heart disease and lowering your cholesterol. How does that happen? Well, there are two main types of fiber. There's insoluble fiber and soluble fiber. Insoluble dietary fiber is what provides bulk to our digestive system as it moves through. Soluble fiber is what's found in beans and certain fruits and oatmeal, many other foods. And what soluble fiber does is forms kind of a sticky substance and a gel that actually binds a cholesterol in our body and helps it leave our body. And in doing so, it can actually help lower your cholesterol. Well, how do you get more of this in your diet? Well, we'd like to strive for 20 to 35 grams of dietary fiber in a day. 20 to 35 grams. The average consumption for the American public is only about 10 to 11 grams. And that's because why? Because we eat a lot of white bread and white pasta and white rice. What we need to be choosing instead is that whole grain, 100% whole grain, whole wheat bread, whole wheat pasta, brown rice, those options that will provide more dietary fiber. Fruits and vegetables are also wonderful sources of dietary fiber. Getting five, at least five to nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day can help us reach that dietary fiber goal. So increase your fruit and vegetable intake, get those whole grains in, and help reduce your risk of heart disease by lowering your cholesterol. This is Lee Murphy for the Dr. Bob Show.